knowing some of you have travelled quite some distance to be here today. And an even bigger thank you to all the people standing beside Amelia and Finn. You are the people who have always relied, they have always relied on in the past and will continue to throughout the years ahead. And in case of some of you are wondering who they are, let me fill you in. We have Maddie, Amelia's sister. Hey Maddie. <laughs> and her three closest friends, Rosie, Lucy and Bree. Alongside Finn is his best man, Jock, and his brothers, Archie and Alec, also his best man. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much. I'd like to invite Lydia, our Finn's sister, to present a reading to the couple, please. No, I stop crying. <laughs> Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humour. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right. No truer words and so beautifully read. Thank you, Lydia. Before we begin today's ceremony, I would like to officially ask who brings Amelia here today to be married to Finn? I do. Thank you, Rowan. <laughs> Friends and family, please leave behind the worries and concerns of your everyday lives, and I invite you to be present here today as we reflect on how Amelia and Finn's relationship began to flourish what they love about one another and what they want for their future together. What I, am, what I am about to read to you all is what I like to call their own little love story. Amelia and Finn were only little teens when they met in high school at the beginning of year 10. They moved to, the, they moved to a new school and even though Amelia clearly remembers crushing on Finn in their science and geography classes, <laughs> Finn says it was only through mutual friends they would see each other and it would take a cheeky eight years until he finally hit it off and began their love story. <laughs> After Amelia finished her degree, Amelia moved down to Victoria. And to keep her facey friends up to date in life, Amelia updated her hometown on Facebook. One day as Finn was having a general scroll through, through Facebook, this change of location sparked on Finn's feed and immediately out of the blue, something inside him rung a bell and had him send Amelia a message saying, Good day. <laughs> <laughs> And to Amelia's surprise, she couldn't believe it. <laughs> Finn being cheeky and flirty was winning Amelia over, but too, <laughs> Amelia was swept up in the flow of the conversation with Finn, and daily they found themselves becoming hooked with, che with checking in daily, talking about life, goals and dreams, a solid foundation of what would form their unique relationship. It was a few months after just, of just after, it was a few months of after just chatting, Amelia found an opportunity to head to Sydney and meet up with Finn where, as you could imagine, Amelia was a little keen to finally meet up with her high school crush again. <laughs> Finn and Amelia met up in Coogee, where they spent their time catching up over a drink, with some more to say as they had the conversation kept on flowing. They got some pizza and sat down on the stairs of Coogee Beach, taking in the natural beauty of the beach had to offer and add to their growing tech connection. Amelia recalls thinking she never thought, due to the distance and COVID that was settling in, that they would actually end up here today but she did feel that there could be a slight chance. After, as I mentioned earlier, Amelia knew Finn was now hooked. 
<laughs> now back home and into their normal routines again, it was going to be eight months of back and forth, touching base every day and having a good crack at their long distance relationship. At the time, unlike herself, Finn got to learn pretty, uh, sorry, unlike himself, Finn got to learn pretty quick that Amelia is a very disciplined person. <laughs> As Finn would start his days late in the mornings, Finn would check in with Amelia and discover that Amelia had already achieved so much more than he'd achieved in an actual day. <laughs> they were in love. It would just take them another six or so months to hang on to what they were, what they were creating to finally be together again and in a more stable relationship. Finn. Amelia admires your incredibly creative side. Amelia adores how you are constantly coming up with ideas of all sorts of things. It's your idea squares that really highlights your creative side. <laughs> and to bring a little context to everyone here, the idea of a piece the idea of a piece of square piece of paper Finn would carry around to write his ideas on and put in a jar for safekeeping, just in case Finn ever runs out of any fresh ideas. <laughs> Amelia too admires your great problem-solving mind and your very sweet soft side that you keep just for Amelia. <laughs> it's how well you take up Amelia, like ensuring Amelia has a hot dinner when she gets home or how you run late to work as you've put time towards making her breakfast. <laughs> and Amelia. Finn admires your very disciplined nature. As well, it's how you show empathy and care for people and or animals. Finn also admires how you are always on board to support any of his ideas and fantasies, <laughs> like cattle trading and getting your own farm. <laughs> Together, Finn and Amelia love their food, cooking, baking, eating out, and eating in. They love their car rides. Amelia shares they've already shared well over 130 hours in the car together this year. Yep. <laughs> and none of them were spent listening to podcasts just a lot of talking about their future or singing together <laughs> Finn says it can be anything as long as they're together that is his favourite and together is always better and I can't agree more even though it took a long time for Finn and Amelia to finally reunite after that 8 month separation when they did it was well worth the wait as they got through all the twists and turns, it made them stronger, and collectively, that's what led them here today. Their first pivotal moment in their relationship was when after seeing each other in Sydney after the eight months apart, it was as Amelia and Finn were swept up in the big emotions of saying goodbye again, that Amelia had a huge realization. She knew that this was something special. Amelia got back to Victoria, and it was a it was big but easy decision that Amelia was ready to move again and bridge the gap between them <coughs> to open up the opportunity for them to find a place of their own and start this next phase of their relationship. Amelia resigned and moved to Armadale. It was then that Finn and Amelia played a little yo-yo, visiting each other on weekends, as Finn also moved to bridge that gap, now only an hour, hour and a half away from each other. It didn't take long for Amelia and Finn to decide to try and live together, and so they would pack up their things and move again. Amelia recalls it all being a bit of a pain, packing and unpacking and moving, <laughs> but no pain, no gain, right? <laughs> Their greatest achievement has been getting through lockdown together as boyfriend-girlfriend literally building on a beautiful relationship from miles apart. Their relationship was built on lots of communicating and trust and these solid foundations path the way for Finn to consider asking for Amelia's hand in marriage. Well, really, it was Pop Finn who had just put a little pressure his way. <laughs> Pop, Finn that, Pop Finn knew that Finny had found a lady who made him happy So it was going to be a matter of time that Pop Finn would excitedly make a ring And that is, when, that is what brought Finn to ask that question Even though Amelia and Finn would have conversations about marriage And what their future looks like for them Amelia would be very persistent in the moment of the proposal <laughs> But eventually, it came time that Finn was ready to plan something at Gunagunu. <laughs> so now, Finn was being persistent with Amelia. Finally, there came a time that Amelia could wrap, thing, wrap up her time with the local musical performance and have a little break. Feeling a little suspicious due to the extravagant time away, which is completely out of character for Finn, it was when Finn told Amelia that his, that his mum told him don't ask until after his brother got married in a few months' time. <laughs> so then Amelia just released all expectations. 
Having it all perfectly planned in his mind, Finn organised a wonderful dinner for them to enjoy to together, followed by a romantic walk back to the room underneath the starry night sky. But with the unpredictable weather plans, the moment changed. As soon as they rushed back from getting completely drenched and in fits of laughter, Finn thought, okay, I'm going to have to make this one up as I go along now. <laughs> Amelia, plonking herself down on the bed after an exhilarating ordeal, Finn fell, lay, fell beside her, but using Finn's word, rather unceremoniously, <laughs> Finn opens the ring box and says to Amelia, well, how about it? <laughs> <laughs> After taking a few seconds, Amelia realised what was actually going on, and she said yes. <laughs> so it makes Finn and Amelia so well compatible, two breeze through the growing relationship by a long distance and all the whirlwinds that's followed. Finn and Amelia have shared the same ambitions for the shared same shared life for the country and their love for animals. But with their with their different strengths and personalities, they travel through this journey of life so well together. Amelia, the one who likes to always have a strategy or plan to do things has been happy to go along and then organise them together. And now they share the same home, they love to be silly together and be one another's snuggle buddy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and that leads me into how Amelia sums you up, Finn. So perfectly, you are her big snuggly imaginer. Even though you continuously leave your dirty dishes where you've been eating, <laughs> leave the fridge water bottles out on the bench and don't refill them after you've taken the last drop, just like your family too calls you Honest John, Amelia will accept this always as it, as it is what makes you, you. Amelia loves how you now get up first and turn the hater on so she, her warmth and comfort is taken care of before she hops out of bed. Amelia loves so much how you... Amelia loves so much how you look after her and make her feel like a princess daily. Finn, you are Amelia's best confident, bestest friend, and her per permanent bed warmer. <laughs> <laughs> and Amelia. Finn sums you up as caring, playful, and delightful. When I asked Finn to share a pet peeve about you, as we all have them, there was one particular moment which encapsulated his very own pet peeve in you. The night of your engagement party. <laughs> for those who don't know the story, Finn drove them to their party, but on arrival, excited for the night ahead, Finn missed turning off the ignition as they arrived. <laughs> <laughs> After having what was the best night to them, it came time to leave and some sober friends nominated to drive them home in his car. After arriving back to the car and ready to roll, they discovered what had happened and the battery was drained. To sum this story up, it turned Amelia's night into a worst night ever. <laughs> <laughs> but after a little persuasion and calming down, Amelia was back into finding it the greatest night. <laughs> Therefore, Amelia, it's how you treat the little things as an insult or inconvenience that ruffles Finn's feathers. <laughs> On the flip side, Amelia, it's your baking that has become Finn's favourite thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> Finn loves his food, and yes, Renee, Renee, he has picked up the hints that he needs to lose a few extra pounds. <laughs> In you, Amelia, Finn has found his biggest supporter. You have given Finn a sense of real belonging, no more mundane career path. You have helped turn his mental and physical health around. And thanks to all these changes, Finn has now been able to find his passion in all the things that he is doing now. <coughs> As Finn and Amelia become married today, the more things that will change, the more things will stay the same. As they come together as individuals, they know the commitment of marriage means to commit to sharing what will be now their life. And as always, to continue supporting and taking on their life's ups and downs together. Starting this new chapter in life, Amelia and Finn will continue to dream together and design their own unique future together. So, what do you say, guys? Are you ready? <laughs> sure on that one. <laughs> I know they're ready, and you guys all know they're ready, so let's do it. My name is Ashley Ogle, and I'm a marriage celebrant. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you join in marriage in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is a union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Uh, I ask everyone here to witness. 
Yes, I, Finley Robert Monroe, take you, Amelia and Sharon and Fry, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Amelia, good things really do come in small packages. <laughs> in the words of Elizabeth Gilbert, to be fully seen by somebody, then, and be loved anyhow, this is a human offering that can border on miraculous. While struggling with what I wanted to say here today, this spoke resonated with me. There's never been any false pretense in our relationship. You've always seen me as exactly who I am, at times much to my family's amusement, <laughs> and have loved me nonetheless. As we step together into our next chapter, I'm filled with excitement and happiness. I can't wait to share in our successes and joyous moments, and whatever challenges we might be faced with, I know that together they will seem smaller than that. Everyone here today to witness that I, Amelia Sheridan Fryer, take you, Finley Robert Monroe, to be my lawful wedded husband. Finney, you are the brightest part of my day, my home, and my forever. And I spell the following words off the internet because they make me smile. <laughs> this is a vow by Wendy Tripp. I cannot promise never to be angry. I cannot promise always to be kind. You know what you're taking on, my darling. It's only at the start that love is blind. And yet, I'm still the one you want to be with, and you're the one for me, of that I'm sure. You're my closest friend, my favourite person, the lover and the home I've waited for. I cannot promise that I will deserve you. From this day on, I hope to pass that test. I love you, and I want to make you happy. I promise I will do my very best. to be your partner in life and love? Will you, will you love her and comfort her, honour and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking others keep only unto her so long as you both shall live? Do you, Amelia, take Finn to be your partner in life and love? Do you, will you love him and comfort him, honour and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others keep only unto him so long as you both shall live? and endearment towards Pop Finn. Amelia and Finn will now exchange their wedding bands, which Don has made for them. As you exchange these rings, I remind you, you will be doing so and accepting all the good and the bad little traits that you each carry. So enjoy the moment, look into each other's eyes and exchange your rings, please. So please, I am very proud to introduce to you your husband, your now husband and wife. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah.